Hey everyone, welcome to What You Paint Wednesday. Hope you're all having a wonderful week so far. Far so far, so far, so far. Ah, so <laughs> uh, <sighs> you should have saw me five minutes ago. I was scrambling around to try to get everything ready. <laughs> I meant to get down here earlier, but things happen. So today, uh, this is kind of funny. Kristen really wanted to join us. She was all set. She wanted to do it. But <clears throat> this Saturday is her daughter's baby shower. I didn't realize, I don't know how I didn't realize this, or I don't think she ever mentioned it. She probably thought she did. I don't know. But anyway, she's having the shower at her house. I didn't realize that. So she said it's supposed to, she lives in Tennessee. She, she said it's supposed to rain tomorrow and Friday. So she has to do all her outdoor stuff today and get it done. Excuse me. <coughs> and get it all done today. So she's like, please don't hate me. I'm not going to be able to do it today. I said, hon, it's fine. It's fine. I mean, she's just buried in it right now. Getting ready for a new baby. I'm so excited. And... I mean, to be honest, if I wasn't leaving next week for a retreat, I probably would drive down there and help with the shower and be there for the weekend because I would really love to be there for Gabby's baby shower. But, you know, you can't do everything as much as I try. Hi, Phyllis. How are you today? So I have made an executive decision. Well, yeah, I can do it that way. Uh, that I'm only going to be doing what you paint Wednesday here on YouTube. It's hard to go back and forth. I, it seems that more people watch on YouTube than on Facebook. And I forget to read the Facebook uh, comments sometimes and I don't want to, anyone to feel left out anyways I just I'm just gonna do it here on YouTube did you see the little logo I made I made that like 10 minutes ago <laughs> I didn't realize that you could schedule your lives like way ahead of time I mean I knew I guess I knew you could do it because I've, I've seen other people do it but I never thought to do it for what you paint Wednesday. So I went into StreamYard and I was setting up getting, you know, ready to go live. And it said, and I said, well, I'm going to schedule it because I was like 10 minutes early. And it said, upload your image here or something like that. And I'm like, what? That's how everyone gets those cute images that like, for instance, if you follow Little Stitch Shop, Angela, I love her. She's amazing. She does a lot of live videos on her channel. And she does floss tube videos and she does quilting videos. Well, she'll put up on Monday these, you know, that she's going to go live at this time on this day for floss tube. And it's this cute little picture of her logo and everything. And I always thought, how does she do that? I would love to know how to do that. <laughs> so I figured it out. So I decided to make a little cover photo. I got each pulled up on my laptop. I see people commenting and I can't see that far away on, on my um, phone. So let me go get that pulled up real quick. I think I can just do this. There you go. So anyway, Yeah, what you paint Wednesday live stream, and it says one o'clock Eastern, and then it's got my new logo. What do you guys think of my new logo? Did you see it? Hold on, I'm still trying to get over there. So I put a post on Facebook saying that what you paint Wednesday will be over here oh, I'm still trying to get over there. in YouTube. So hopefully everybody comes on over. Here we go. Hi, Chris. Long time no see. <laughs> Hey girl, sneaking on from work to check out what's up. Good afternoon. Good to see you. Hi, Marsha. Hi, Heather. Phyllis, getting over a sinus infection. Me too. 
I am right there with you. I forgot to take my medicine last night. I'm on an antibiotic. I've had this for, I don't know, three weeks now. And um, I decided it wasn't going away on its own. <clears throat> Hi, Teresa. Can't wait to get your new your book of patriotic patterns. Hi, Nathan. So this is what I'm going to look at today. This, I actually, I'm going to paint this, but I actually charted it as cross stitch as well for Patreon tiers three and four. Obviously, it's not charted this big. It's charted about that big. But I just love it. I love painting red, white, and blue patriotic paintings. And I am going to be trying out these new paints that Arteza sent me. So there are 14 acrylic paints in here. Da, da, da. And they sent them to me to review for them. And then, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this whole painting with their paints. And I'm going to like paint it today and then finish it with in a different area of my studio where I can film it straight over and get some different angles as I'm painting. And then I'm going to piece it all together. And then at the end of the video, I will do a talk about my comments and my feelings about their paint. So anyway, look for that to come on this channel soon. Thank you, Phyllis. So I went live last night in Patreon and we started at eight and we didn't get done until 10. I was like, so I was so tired yesterday. It was the gloomiest day. Just looked like it was 9 p.m. all day. It was just so dark, rainy, gloomy. And I was just yawning. I was so tired. And I, I wanted to take a nap, but I didn't have time. And around 7 o'clock, 6.30, 7 o'clock, Kyle stopped by. Our son stopped by. And Kevin was gone. He was brewing beer at his friend's house. And, <clears throat> excuse me, and I decided to have a cup of coffee so that it would perk me up because I had this live video to do. Well, did it ever. I was talking like 100 miles an hour during that live video. I couldn't, like I was kind of, not say scatterbrain, but I was like in the middle of something and it'd be like squirrel and I would start talking about something else. And I'd come back to it, but then I'd squirrel over here and I was... <laughs> And I was so wound up after the live was done at 10 o'clock. See, I've been going to bed at 11, which means I don't fall asleep till probably 11.30. And I get up as soon as the sun comes up. I'm up anyways. Even It can be pitch dark in the room, but somehow my body knows it's light out. <laughs> and I'm up 6, six o'clock at the latest. So, and I'll lay there and try to fall back to sleep, and then I... I can't and I think of all the things I should be doing and so so I need to go to bed earlier so I said to them last night at 10 I'm like I really need to go I want told myself I was gonna get in bed by 10 o'clock I did not go to bed until 1 o'clock guys that coffee and the combination of drinking the coffee and then doing the live video was just set me up for disaster because I was just wound up and I couldn't I couldn't wind down, so I had, I had a bourbon cocktail, and then I went to bed. And then I woke up at like 3.30, and I took a couple Benadryl. That always helps me sleep, plus I've got all this allergy and stuff going on anyway, so, um, so yeah. <laughs> I can't be doing live videos that late. Oh, that's funny, Phyllis. <laughs> She couldn't sleep either. Oh, that's funny. I know, Renee. Was I not? Like, just, I was so wound up. And I watched a little bit of it back, and I was, like, talking a thousand miles an hour. I was like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> but at least I told you guys why I was talking so fast, and you didn't think I was just totally out of my mind. <clears throat> Oh, I had a blast. I, I love doing live video. I really do. There's just something about it, the conversation and 
But yeah, can you tell I'm much more mellow today, even though I had coffee this morning. There's something about the coffee at night, boy, I tell you, it got me. So I think I'm going to move the camera down a little bit. I can see there's room on top of my head. I can do that. Don't you think my garbage is full enough, guys? It's time to take that out. Um, we'll move it down a little bit so you can see what the heck I'm doing down here. I was okay last night, but I was zonked driving to work this morning. <laughs> well, I try to do the videos late for my West Coast friends. You know, there's a lot of people out Pacific Northwest that, you know, I want them to be able to join the lives and not have it be like three in the afternoon. So that's why I do them so late. Um, but I am going to... When I'm done with all of my May vacationing, I'm going to do a live on Saturday and Patreon for my friends overseas and whatnot. So, all right. So again, I'm opening up the Arteza paints. There's 14 colors. Uh, let's see, non-toxic, ideal for arts and crafts. I'll have their information linked below, but it's um, www, which you don't even have to put that in anymore, arteza.com, A-R-T-E-Z-A, if you're interested in trying out their products. So I use their, and I have to review those too, but I've used their um, set of markers. They're like pilot markers and they're all different thicknesses from really really thin up to like a brush size and it comes in this nice black I think it's down here I think actually I might have took it up to the house if it's down here I'll show it to you well oh it's here So on this channel, if you watch my create tubes, you know, those drawings that I've been doing in that little square sketchbook that I just love and adore the shape of it. All the drawings I'm doing in there, I'm using these Arteza uh, markers. Are they called markers? I think they're called, a, it's a pen set actually, but it goes, I mean, there's a ton of them in there. They're very reasonably priced. And they write like a dream. They're going to get an, an amazing review for these because uh, they're awesome. So, yeah. I might even get another set to have at the house because whenever I need them at the house, they're down here. And then I forget to bring them back down. And then I go to do something down here and I don't have them. And I love that they're in this box so that you can keep them all together. Super nice. No, I meant to message Colleen this morning. I messaged her last night after the live video. Yeah, she was still up to, well, of course, she was three hours behind. So, um, you thoroughly enjoyed my ramblings. <laughs> That's good. That is a good thing. That's so funny. It was fun. I had a blast. I had a total blast. Ooh, looky, looky. So this is how it's packaged. Six upright and eight, I guess, six upside down and eight upright. So we have Mars Black, Titanium White, Lemon Yellow. So far, I use all these colors. Yellow Ochre, I use that all the time. Ooh, Scarlet Red, which I will, like when I do my angels and when I do faces, I use yellow, red, and a lot of that Titan buff. Hopefully they have a cream in here. If they have a cream, that's fine. Here's a Crimson Red, which is a lot uh, darker, which, ooh, I'll be using that, but not probably for faces. Phthalo Blue, Ultramarine Blue, the two best blues out there. Pale Green. Thalo green. Look at that thalo green. It's really like a super dark teal kind of. Or emerald. I don't know what you call that. Burnt sienna. 
and Burnt Ombre. Yep, I use, if you guys have followed me for any length of time and watched me paint, you know I use all these colors. Oh, and then a gold and a silver. Nice touch to have that in there. Oh, let's put that up here. So, yeah. Oh, I, I might need a palette, right? Ah, that kind of a mess going on here. So I redesigned my logo. I've been wanting to do that for a long time. And I wanted, you know, before it just said Teresa Colgate real big and underneath, which was in script and hard to read, it said Creative Whims and it had the star at the top. Well, I've used that since I started my business. So we're talking like from the 90s, like early 90s and that font mid nineties, I should say. And that font is papyrus. It's been used to death. <laughs> so I wanted to update it. And just by looking at that logo, Teresa Kogut's Creative Whims, I mean, maybe you would think I'm an artist. I don't know, but I wanted it to say more about my business and my business has changed so much. It's not all about art now. It's probably 80% or even 90% needlework and 10% art. So I wanted to have art and needlework combined in there somehow. So, and I love the heart and hands symbol. I love that. I love the meaning of it. Hands to work, hearts to God. It just says everything that I think I'm about type of thing. Well, not everything, but you know what I mean. You get my drift. Um, I'm gonna go get some. Oh, the palette. Brushes too, you think? What do you think, guys? Should I grab some? Should I grab some brushes while I'm up? Nathan, I are you? I don't know if you're still on here, but yeah, you're out of school now, aren't you? For the summer? Seems like last time you were on a live, you said you were about done. Um, and uh, I think I asked if you went to the Silver Needle Retreat this spring. I don't know if you ever answered me. You might have been off the video by then. Excuse me. I found one of my little teeny tiny brushes. I left it in the water bowl since last week. I don't think it's ruined though, which is shocking, but yeah, what an idiot. Cause it was so little that it fell down in there. It's not like it was sticking out. It was way down in there and I didn't see it. So <laughs> it was in there since last week. Yes, I'm out of school now and we're going back to the Silver Needle Retreat in July. Going back to it, so you did go to the one I just had recently. Very cool. I know, nice size tubes of paint. I don't know how much these are because like I said, they sent them to me to review for them. So I will have prices and all of that jazz in the description box below. And I'm really excited to use them. Hey, the pens are amazing, so I can only imagine the paints are probably equally amazing. So I'm going to do, oh man, they got one of those safety things on them. I guess it makes sense, but let's do this. I don't know why I'm getting my paints out yet. I need to trace my image on there. Yeah, I'm going to do that first. So last night during the live video, I didn't, or maybe I did. No, I already did. I'm getting all my treats mixed up. I was thinking I didn't tell you guys about the culture station retreat. I haven't said it like on my floss tube or publicly yet because I didn't know that I had the go ahead to do it, but I was watching Pam and Steph this morning and they just got back from the culture station retreat, the spring one. And they announced all five 
of the designers that are going to be at the fall retreat and I'm one of them and I'm really excited because okay it's gonna be Alma from Blackbird, Liz Matthew, Kathy Barrick, Lisa, or Lisa, I'm sorry, Linda of Chessie and Me, and, uh, and me. Yeah, five. Five of us. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be a three-day retreat in September 10th, 11th, and 12th, or something like that. So, um... I don't know if registration for that one is open yet. I don't think it is because Pam and Steph mentioned that the people that were at the spring retreat, they get first dibs on signing up for the fall retreat. So they probably haven't announced it or open registration because they wanted to see how many people would re-up from the spring retreat. So anyway, I'm just throwing it out there. I'm really excited about that. I get to hang out with all y'all. And, um, you know, I see, I see these, well, Linda from Chessie and Me, I just met her at market for the first time. Isn't that insane? For the first time. She is so pleasant and so sweet and kind, and I'm looking forward to getting to know her better. Uh, Liz Matthews and her mom, Kathy, Kathy Barrick, I've met both of them, of course, at market as well, but, you know, it's a five minute conversation because it's market. Um, so I'm looking forward also to seeing them and getting to know them more. Uh, who else? Alma, I have met several times at market, but I've really never talked to her because she's always busy. When you go in, you know, her room, she's always busy. So I don't really ever get to have conversations with her. So I'm looking forward to that. Is that everybody? And then meeting a bunch of new people. And then I have a October retreat that I'm not talking about yet. I haven't gotten the go ahead. And then I have a spring one. Let me see. I have one in April. All right. Can you hear me now? I think you can hear me now though. Cause it, so I got a phone call and then a gray thing come up on my screen and it said something. So I X out of it and then it said, Mike is muted. So I hit out of that. So it should be good now. Let me know. Okay. It's good. <clears throat> I'm trying to think of what the heck I said while I was muted. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. Oh, I know. I was talking about how last July when I did the Silver Needle Retreat, that was my first retreat of being the guest designer. And I said, wow, that really opened the floodgates because I 
I'm doing the quilter station in September. I'm doing one in October that I'm not announcing yet because we just, just, it's too early. I don't want to announce it before they do. Let's put it that way. So there's one in October and then I have one in April in Lansing, Michigan with Annabella's. And then I just signed up or whatever, finalized the date for one in June, the first weekend of June in Ohio. And I'm not telling any details on that until I get the go ahead. So, so wowzer. <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot. And I told, um, I might end up doing the um, Garden of Quilts next year. I said I would do it every other year instead of every year. Well, I'm not doing it this year, so more than likely in 2023, I'll be going back out to Utah, Lehigh, Utah, for the Garden of Quilts, representing, you know, my fabric. Um, Riley Blake Designs puts that on, so along with um, Ashton Gardens at Thanksgiving Point. So anyway, it's like, wow. What I like about it is the best part about being a guest designer in a retreat or even just going to a retreat is meeting everybody. Obviously, that is the best part because it's just so much fun. Nobody goes to a retreat and is in a bad mood. <laughs> Everyone's so excited to be there and it's just so much fun. Um, but also, I like that, you know, they're in places I've never been before. So that's fun. Oh, Jan, I'm so sorry. I hope you're feeling better. Well, you can watch the replay. It'll be there. I live in Ohio. Can't wait to hear where it's at. <laughs> Jan says, I am alive. Boy, you must have felt really bad. I'm so sorry to hear that. What am I missing here? They, they only have the Silver Needle Retreat in July every year, and then throughout the year, they just have mini weekend retreats. Oh, gotcha. Thank you, Nathan, for that. That is a great group of designers in one place. So exciting. Thank you. It is exciting. Texas, late as usual. It's all right, Carol. <laughs> All right, I feel like I missed some other conversations here. Okay. Oh, when we first started, I said that um, Kristen, you know, she had planned on being here this week, but, you know, her daughter's baby shower is at her house this Saturday. So she's got to, it's supposed to rain tomorrow and Friday. So she says, I got to do all my outdoor stuff today. Blah, blah, blah. I totally get it. And I told her not to worry about it. She goes, I promise next week. And I goes, I can't next week. I'm going to be out of town. <laughs> we just laughed. <laughs> it's like, we will be together again on Witch Paint Wednesday. We promise. It's just funny that well, we're both busy. I'm so excited about Gabby having the baby in July. How exciting. Ah. I'm going to the Silver Needle Retreat in July. Can't wait. Wish you were there, Teresa. I know, you know, I considered, well, you know, I was there last year as the guest designer. And so at the end of the retreat, Lindy announced who was going to be there, who the guest designer was going to be, you know, this July. And I took a sheet and I was seriously because I was caught up in the moment and I was seriously considering going back. But, you know, if it was closer, it'd be one thing, but I just can't. I can't do all the things, even though I want to do all the things. So this stuff, if you're interested, let me know. I'll talk about it, but you all have been here watching me do this for a long time so you probably already know what it is and where to get it 
but if not, let me know and I'll talk a little bit about it. It's how I transfer my image onto my substrate. So this image here is just a real rough sketch out of my sketchbook. Because your sketch doesn't have to be perfect because you're not going to paint it exactly like the sketch anyway. It's basically just a guideline. You know what I'm saying? What's everyone doing today? How you all doing? Are you working on anything? Are you at work on your lunch hour? Are you sitting and stitching? Are you eating lunch or maybe breakfast depending on where you're at? Yeah, as soon as we're done here, I'm going to message Colleen. Because I didn't see that she posted anything on Instagram either as an update. I know. I feel, oh, God, that's just such a scary thought. In case you don't know what the heck I'm going on about, <laughs> um, Colleen's sister Cheryl they have floss to stitching with the sisterlies and Cheryl had a heart attack but they put a stint in and she's doing well I'm curious if she's I think I think they were keeping her in the hospital just to watch over her for you know to make sure that everything is still going well before they release her but um no, Colleen's not on here. Stitching right now. I'm hungry. Appetite slowly coming back. You know, that's funny that you say that because, yeah, when you have a stomach issue and you don't eat, like sometimes you eat just a little bit of something and you're so full. But, man, it doesn't take long for that appetite to come back and I'm right back to eating as much as I did before I was sick. <laughs> oh, well, I'm sorry. <clears throat> You've been sick. I've been sick too, but I'll take a head cold over the flu, stomach flu, any day. Heather, not on lunch hour. You are keeping me company while I post money to accounts. <laughs> I love it. You just answered that question. Cheryl is on the mend. I'm right here with you craving a baked potato. Oh my gosh. I love potatoes. I wish potatoes were a health food because if they were, I'd be the healthiest person on the planet. You can, I'll eat them even raw. Like when I'm peeling them to make mashed potatoes. When I was a kid, when I, remember, I heard my mom peeling potatoes, I'd run in the kitchen and just look at her. She'd cut me off a chunk and I'd walk off crunching it. It was the crunch that got me. I, I, I was thinking about that yesterday. I'm like, I'm such a carb girl because I love crunch. Like potato chips and pita chips, crispy French fries. Like and my bacon has to be crispy and crunchy. It's funny. Phyllis had the sinus infection. That's what I had. In good spirits in chatting with the beehive mother cluckers periodically. Good deal. When I am sick at my stomach, I crave potatoes. I guess the starch. Oh, that's interesting. I just crave them all the time. <laughs> the 
that's interesting. Maybe that is a thing then. Baked potatoes help soothe an upset stomach? I don't know. With sour cream. I mean, I don't know if you like sour cream. Butter, sour cream, salt, and pepper. Mm. I'd be happy just having that for a meal. Not a healthy meal, but... You know when you go to the restaurants and they give you the, a potato that's like that big? That seriously could be your meal. takes so long to do lettering. I'm sweating. Time to take the jacket off. Extra butter, extra butter, <laughs> right? Fries sound good right now. No kidding, I'm getting hungry too. I had a salad. I mean, I like salad, don't get me wrong, but <sighs> got to have, well, I was thinking about, oh, this is actually what made me think of it. So we, last Thursday, we have this barbecue place by us. So last Thursday, I didn't have anything thought out to make for dinner. The grandkids were here. The boys were coming over. Ryan's friend and his, his friend's girlfriend were coming over. And I'm like, I don't. I have the energy or anything thought out to cook. So we ordered from the local barbecue place. They have the best ribs. So we got two full things of ribs and four things of mac and cheese, two baked potatoes, a couple side salads, and then two, um, what do you call it? Brisket dinners. And obviously we didn't eat it all. Cause that was a ton of food. So I was warming it up. I think it was Sunday night and I was wanting it to not dry out when I warmed it up in the oven. So I put a nine by 13 pan under it like this rack and set the ribs on it. And then it still dried them out. I should have took the time. This is what I normally do. Normally I would wrap them in, um, um, parchment paper and then cover them with tin foil and that keeps all the moisture and they don't dry out but I wanted to try this other way well it was a big fail because they got dried out anyways today I opened the oven to put the cast iron pan back in it and there was something in the way and I looked and it was a 9 by 13 pan and I'm like what the heck's that in there for when I pulled it out I'm like oh that's what I had the ribs you know, I thought the steam from the water would keep the ribs in the brisket from drying out. Anyway, a lot of the grease from the ribs, more, more ribs probably than the brisket, had dripped down into that water. And then when it cooled, anyways, it was disgusting how much fat was in those ribs. And so it's made me start thinking about, <laughs> you know, I'm 55, Kevin is 60. It's probably time for us to like chill out on eating a lot of red meat and pork and stuff like that you know need to fit a few more salads in our diet and and uh and it's not just about weight it's just about being healthy more chicken and fish dinners <laughs> but anyway oh nathan to be young again and eat whatever the heck you want Never gain a pound. Never, never an issue. Oh, those are the golden years. <laughs> oh, and fresh chives. Oh, Renee is in the garden potting peppers. How cool. My grandpa didn't think dinner was a meal without potatoes, right? The old meat and potatoes kind of guy. Heck yeah. Working, Marsha is working on putting together the teeny tiny tomato scissor fob by Robin Chappelle. It's 
tiny and my fingers are not, but it's cute. <laughs> Is that the one who showed that? Penny's daughter shares. Is that what you're talking about? That scissor fob? She showed it in her live video. I didn't watch the whole live video, but I saw that part of it. That was so cute. Oh, we're getting there, guys. Yep, it's coming out good. Just got to do the house and the supply. That won't take long at all. Then I can actually lay some paint down. graphite paper. I am. Yep. I get it from dickblick.com and I've used it for years and you can reuse it like because you're not tracing over the same part all the time so all the graphite isn't worn off. So yeah, I use them until they aren't tracing very good anymore. So you can use them several times. I should at least get a straight edge. Here we go. Let's make sure my house is kind of straight. Did you like that, guys? I was looking for something, and it was right where it was supposed to be. Do you see how fast I got that? <laughs> that doesn't happen all the time. By the way, Heather, thank you for the update on Cheryl. I don't know if I said that or not. She is so, like, happy and jolly all the time. I love it. I just love that about her. Let's see here. Something ain't right. Something is definitely not right. Huh. That's probably just throwing me off because it's different than what I have drawn here. Mischievous Stitcher showed it a few weeks back. That scissor fob. Okay. I didn't, I didn't see that. It might be the same one. I don't know. It has a tomato on it. Yeah. I need to design. Like the Bistcore New was like my first really kind of breakout thing that <laughs> that I ever designed that was out of the normal rectangle or square shape. I want to do more of that kind of stuff where you actually make something functional. All in good time, right? We're not going anywhere. 
Well, I got to learn how to make that stuff first. That's how I feel. Of course, I didn't make the Viscor new myself. So what am I talking about? <laughs> I need to get designing the next Viscor new, the Americana one. I need to do that. Oh, it is the same one. Cool. She's like that in real life, too, even in the hospital. I could see that. I could see that cracking jokes, laughing and giggling. Yeah, I could see that out of Cheryl. She's just joyful. Well, it's a good thing I like folk art because this is not going to be like perfect. That's what I like about it's not what I like about folk art. I actually like things a little bit wonky, and it's just what I always liked, anyways. But I'm not into like everything being perfect. And the the uh, which we call it the door is definitely not centered on the house. <laughs> that I might have to change a little bit. <clears throat> We got these little stars here. Bye, Nathan. Thanks for joining for a while today. Ta da! Just like magic. So in case you came on a little bit late and you want to know what the heck I'm working on, I'm going to be painting Land of Liberty. I'm hungry. I'll be right back. Nuts. I keep um, nuts.com. I keep peanuts and mixed nuts down here because there's a lot of times I get hungry. All right. Scarlet red, that's right. I gotta take all the little thingies off. Don't do that to me, bit tore. I got it. I got it. Putting them back in here. Very pretty. Let's get some blue. Yes, the beehive mother cluckers. If I lived out in your area, I would be right there with y'all. I would love to be there. 
Poor Colleen, it probably drives her crazy. She can't be there. Hi, Christy. Oh, it said chat disconnected. Can you guys hear me? <laughs> I love that I brought snacks. I know I don't normally eat on my lives, but I was telling them a little while ago that I had a salad. That's all I've had. And it wasn't very big salad and there was no protein on it other than the feta cheese. So. <laughs> right, Jan? You're in Texas. That's right. You are in Texas. I know. It would be so fun to hang out with those crazy ladies. But a little far to drive for a stitchy afternoon, right? <laughs> drive four days. Man, these are just creamy. These are really nice paints. Wait, Heather, I thought you lived, where do you live, Heather? I thought you were, were you there for a visit or something? I thought you lived out there. <clears throat> Hi, Daisy. Hello, hello, hello. How are you today? I don't know why. Well, there, there'll be a little bit of green in here. That's quite the bright green, but that's what black was invented for. <laughs> black paint to tone down all those bright colors. Burnt sienna. I'm confused. This, it must be an inside joke. That would be amazing. I love those ladies. And then it says... Good when she is in pain. Just kidding. Ha ha, whatever. You're in Washington. I'm two and a half hours away from Anna and Cheryl. Oh, pff. that's nothing, girlfriend. Go crash the party. <laughs> right? Okay, it is so worth it. Yeah, I thought you went. That's funny. Daisy, I meant to message you the other day and forgot. You won something the other day. Now I can't think of what floss tube it was on. Oh, that's funny. Ann and Cheryl in the Portland area. Uploading a new video. Yay! Jan is making a joke. She thinks she's funny. Well, usually Jan is funny. That's You guys cry me out. I'm not even going to... Well, okay, I got to try all the paints, right? I'm not going to use this lemon yellow, though. I'll just put a tinch of it on my palette. I'll use the um, yellow ochre for this because it's more of a yellow prim color. <laughs> Daisy's like, oh? Yep, Daisy, now you got to go back and watch all the... That's what's so hard. If, if you enter drawings... Like, I don't enter drawings on other floss tube channels. Well, I don't need to, for one, because I want other people to win. But, um, you know, I don't necessarily watch every video of every floss tuber. There's not enough hours in the day, right? Jan and I show love with teasing each other. I get it. It's one of those things, like, my mom's Jerry. He is a big tease. He... If, if, cause sometimes he'll say something, you know, and he'll go, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm like, Jerry, I know you're kidding. If you didn't pick on me, I would think you were mad at me. So it's just how it is. Okay. I'm not going to get them back in the way they came. Six up and seven down or eight down. Aha. Uh -huh. I don't know. They must have a packing genius there. Tomorrow we get the grandkids, and it's supposed to be 67 and sunny tomorrow. So 
what I need to remember is sunscreen for them. Well, they're in there, not the same way, but close. I don't know why I did that, because what if I use one of these colors all up and I got to get more? I'm obviously not thinking clearly right now. I want to refinish these cupboards. But, you know, who has time for that? I want to refinish the cupboards in my kitchen, too. Who has time for that? That's as high as this thing goes. That can't be. Ah, oh, there's a male or duck. Male and female. Mallard. Mallard. Mallard duck. Male and female. On the pond right now. How cool. Alright guys. We're going to try out these paints. Okay. Let's try out this red. So I like to have, I like to paint a red background and then paint over it. So don't freak out. I'm not leaving the background red. And then I paint over it. Then when I go to sand it, some of that red shows through and it looks really cool. And it will especially look cool on an Americana painting. So can you see what I'm doing? Not really. Not really. Maybe if I back up a little bit. Shoot, been out of here an hour? How is that possible? I know how it's possible. I gabbed a lot and I wasn't prepared by having my drawing transferred. Well, I'm at least going to get the red coat on. I've got to get some paint down. Nisi Lens, she said. <laughs> Heather bullies Jan into loving her. That's funny. Oh, you did. So it was Nisi Lynn, huh? Cool. She's a hoot. I know. Um, Nisi Lynn and. Stitching with the sisters, Lisa and, and myself, when we did that Halloween party. Was it? That's 2020. Yeah, because 2021, we didn't do anything last year. And we planned on it. We were going to do a Christmas one in 2020. Didn't do that. Trying to get, every, you know, four different busy people's schedules together to do a live like that. It's not an easy task. Um... And then we talked about, you know, doing another Halloween one for 2021. I don't know. Time flies. Part of it was I was out west two weeks in September. And I don't know. Time slips away. But it'd be fun to do that again. Oh, yeah. You live three hours from Nisi Lynn. Oh, yeah, you guys should, like, drive halfway, you know, meet in the middle there. Yeah. Yes, Daisy, you missed an hour. <laughs> well, we used to start at 2, but we've been, I say we, uh, but Kristen and I changed it to 1 o'clock, I would say, a year, a, a year ago around Easter time. So, basically a year ago. Yeah, it's been at 1 o'clock Eastern time. For a year now. I don't think I'm going to get the red on this whole entire painting today. When I'm done with this, with What You Paint Wednesday, I'm going to be working on that needle book. So please Keep me in your thoughts and prayers because I'm so nervous. I'm going to wreck my stitching. It just, I was looking at how Kathy Lounsbury made the needle book that I got from the last October or last, yeah, October Farm Girl Gathering. 
<clears throat> they do the exchange differently. It's um, it's so fun. Like you, she has, Michelle gives out tickets. And when she calls your ticket, it's like the Southern Swap thing where you can take somebody else's or you can go open a new one. Anyways, somebody took what I had, and which I loved. I can't even remember what it is now. Um, they took it for me, so I took the one Kathy made from somebody, and I got to keep it. And it was amazing, the things she made. But she made a little needle book. And so I was, like, analyzing her needle book. And I'm like, I don't even know how to do that. I wasn't going to do it the way she did it. But now looking at hers, it's, the finish is so nice. I'm like, ooh, I don't know if I can pull that off. I might be able to if I hand stitch it, but not with my sewing machine. Daisy's hoping to move to Texas, but we have so much stuff. Where do you live now again? Oh, you live in Washington, don't you? That's quite a change there, Miss Daisy. Yeah, no kidding. Think before you cut and think before you start sewing. Trust me, I have thought about it as I was stitching it. I was thinking about it. And then yesterday I pulled the material and I'm using my Stitchy Bird uh, strike off fabrics because I just need a little bit because that's all I have is a little bit of that fabric. And I'm using that for the finishing of the needle book. It's going to be really cute if I do it right. I'm going to use Lady Dot Create's Dirty Face Lace on it, too. It's going to be stinking cute. Even if it is not quite right, it'll be good enough. What about making a prototype with some scraps? That's a good idea. I just wish someone would show me, like... I'm such a hands-on person. If you show me how to do something on the sewing machine, I'm good to go. It's not like you had to show me 10 times. You know what I mean? But like reading or I don't know. It's just, I want to be able to ask questions. So far great paints. These paints are really nice. Really, really nice. Very creamy. Goes on nice and thick, but they're not like so thick. You know, because with acrylic paints, you can get some that are kind of thin and then you got to paint over and over and over to get good coverage. And I don't, I don't like those kind of paints. <clears throat> those are usually called high flow acrylics. And then you've got heavy body acrylics, which sometimes those are like putting on cake frosting and it's super thick. And these are a nice go-between right here. Nice and creamy. What's everyone watching on TV these days? <laughs> right, Jan? Oh, and I was wondering what you were talking about. Endoscopy. Isn't that where they go down your throat? Oh my gosh, that is scary. <laughs> Heather. You're watching Joe Kenda, Homicide Hunter. Murder and mystery type thing? Or what do, what do people watch... What do they call those shows? 
um, true crime. I just watched vegan or um, bad vegan or something like that. And it was, uh, it was interesting. Blue, it just blows my way that, it blows my way. It blows my mind the way some people can manipulate other people. It's like, I don't know. I don't know. Has anybody watched that? Oh, he's a retired detective and tells his cases. Oh, that's interesting. DIYs and floss tube videos. I know. I love YouTube. Anyway, this bad vegan, I just, you know, she's, she was beautiful, she is beautiful, you know, she seemed so smart. She had like the best, like world renowned vegan restaurant in New York. And she threw it all away for this loser. I don't know. I always, it always blows my mind. Like. How do you go from this to, I, I don't, I don't understand in my head how that can be. Went to the store and picked up broth, crackers, chicken noodle soup, and ginger ale. There you go. You are ready. Well, good luck with your endoscopy next week. I wish you well, my friend. Yeah, so before I forget to tell you, I will not be doing Witch Paint Wednesday next week. I will be in Iowa for the Farm Girl Gathering Retreat. And I, I'll be back for the next week. So taking a week off. Well, Jan, if I'm working on that and I get stuck, I might just FaceTime you. I think what I'm going to do before I get started, I'm going to go and watch some YouTube videos and watch how people do it. I haven't done that part yet because I plan on doing it right before. I was going to make mine so it's fresh in my head. You know what I mean? So I'm going to do that first. Chat disconnected itself again. Can y'all hear me? So when I get back from the retreat and we do Witch Paint Wednesday next time, Kristen will be here. It's going to be so much fun. It'll be like a little reunion. So if it's at the hour where you can have cocktails, please do. <laughs> We're going to be partying. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> It'll be too early for me to do that. Maybe we'll do a nighttime one. And then we can have a cocktail. Would y'all still be able to join if we did like like a 7 p.m. Eastern time one. My mother's a member of the art guild here 
there was a painting in the gallery I fell in love with. My mother mentioned it to the artist and she gifted it to me after my mastectomy. Wow. Wow. You were blown away. Imagine that. That is awesome, Jan. Wow. Hi, Chris. Okay, Jan. Thank you. He's going to repair your esophagus because you're having issues. Oh, my. Yes, we all wish you well for next week. All right, well, I'm going to show you what I got done today. <laughs> it's not much, but hey, it's just like with stitching. Every brush stroke and every stitch is put, aiming you in the right direction, correct? So you can see the whole thing on there. Oh, that actually shows up really good, doesn't it? There you go. So I'm going to go ahead and go and work on my needle book. So wish me well on that. And um, Jan, we, or not, well, Jan, I might be getting a hold of you. We'll see what happens. But Daisy, we wish you well next week. And let's all keep Cheryl in our thoughts and prayers and get her back on the road to good health. Something's making clicking noises over there. It sounds like we're losing power and it's coming back on or something. Hmm, I better go check that out. All right, guys, have a great week. We will see you when I get back from the retreat. All right, bye.